Our wine today is the Frescobaldi Nipizzano 2007 Chianti Rufina Reserva. This popular Italian red is acidic with flavors of cherry, raspberries, and plum. This is priced at $22. Let's bring in the judges. Thank you, Steve. Hmm. It's red, we know that, right, it's, Steve? It's not, <laughs> and it's not Pinot Noir, so. Certainly some, some Bordeaux characteristics. However, I'd like to point out the color. Look how it's turned sort of garnet. And it's no longer purplish red. It looks like an aged wine, I would have to say six or seven years old, or mm -hmm. a grape variety that turns brownish red early on in its uh, development. I think there could be some Tuscan elements here. Definitely. Um, uh, when you said Bordeaux, uh, the, the grape variety that jumped out at me the most was Merlot, uh, uh, particularly because of the nose and the color. And what do you think of the color? John was mentioning that it, it's more of a garnet now. I agree there's some age on it. It's not a youthful wine, but again, I'm not quite sure it's as old as he thinks it might be. I'm so going to throw in one other possibility here, just to up the stakes a little mm -hmm. bit. I mean, considering the paler color and considering the plummy fruit and the abundance of wood, would you consider Spain as a possibility, Tempranillo? Yes, but it's a possibility. The, the wood would probably be American oak usually, and that's much sort of coconutty than in here. Agreed, so, agreed, uh, but there's but a lot of new wave vanilla. Spanish yeah, wines yeah, that yeah, are yeah. made with, uh, with European wood, yeah. wow. French wood. The, the one thing about Merlot in the old world, and if we, if we are going to agree that this is an old world wine, um, there aren't a lot of places that do a single varietal Merlot. Merlot yeah. um, it's generally as a blend, and it's not found Good often. Good point, Zamato. Yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. point, indeed. <laughs> it could be for Long Doc Ucio, uh, Yes, so that's down the, the only. Midi, and then Merlot yep. is, 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 is uh, bottled separately. I'm not on a Merlot no, trail I'm, here. I'm coming off the Merlot. Uh, I think there's too much acidity here for the Merlot. Yes. I think this is Nebbiolo. I'm back in Italy. Mm -hmm. Color matches there, this it's garnet colored. shade. It's a little darker than traditional style, but this is not a traditional wine. I think it's been made in a slightly modern style with, uh, in my view, a little bit too much wood. That's sweetened it up with that vanilla, but the, oh, that red fruit, slightly tarry. Your Merlot dust is my Nebbiolo mm -hmm. dust. The sure, firmness yeah. of, a, of, of Italian wine comes through here. That's where I'm heading. Okay. So what if I told you some of you are close, but none of you have the grape variety. So, so is, is it Italy or Spain? If I give you that, do you think you'll get the variety? We might do, yes. Yes. It's an Italian wine. It's Italian wine. Sangiovese. Yeah, so I think it's Modern Sangiovese. Stock, well, yeah, it's yeah. the only yeah. thing that's going to yeah. have that level yeah. of acidity. Here's my guess. Yeah. Sangiovese with Merlot in it. I bet you this is Chianti, Chianti Classico, and they yeah. haven't declared that there's 20% Merlot. Yeah. And vintage, uh, we wouldn't see anything earlier than uh, 2007 on the, on the market. So okay. I, mean, I think mm. that matches. So I think it's a Chianti as well now, now in terms of Italian. Uh, because I, I always think that Rioja Tempranillo uh, from Spain and Chianti uh, Sangiovese from Italy are very similar wines. They, they work so well with food and they fulfill the same role okay. in those people's cultures and their food. And so I thought it was Tempranillo Spain. I can easily be talked into if you tell me it's Italian that it's Sangiovese therefore it's Chianti. That, that Merlot element to it at the beginning, if, mm -hmm. if there is a, a bit that's blended in here and often is in, mm -hmm. uh, in this region. So um, I, think that, uh, I think that's a good guess, mm -hmm. guys. Now the reveal. <laughs> yeah. You did much better that time. So uh, it is a Chianti. Uh, yes. 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 And it is a 2007. Yeah, and uh, there is a Merlot in it. So it's a good go. value. Yeah. It's first go, yeah. yeah. I mean, stylistically, I think we are actually quite close. As yeah, you pointed I out, these are all in the same sort of uh, hemisphere of wine styles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're all wrong, but I do have to say that <laughs> John, with his guess of the Sangiovese, and you had the year, so. I'm going to declare you the winner of this round. Oh, thank you. Favoritism there. <laughs> you think so, Steve? I, you did get the red. I know. So I, know, I am yeah. giving you that point. Yeah, yeah. But that's a wrap. Join us again next time as we battle another bottle.